Well, if you're like myself, it's just very hard to enter in, really, to be a, feel a part of it. Um, I went to churches and, and really they tended to regard you as the blind person rather than the Christian with unique gifts just as any, any other Christian has. People's expectations of what you could do were very low. I've never had any sight, so I don't know what it is to have physical sight. But uh, amen, for, amen for spiritual sight. Torch Trust exists to help blind and partially sighted people live full Christian lives. A church that wants to become more sight loss friendly is in itself already more sight loss friendly because it knows that sight loss exists and it wants to do better, it wants to do well. We didn't really have anything in place when I first started working here in the office for um, people with sight loss. Uh, but working with Torch Trust and the people that come here that have sight loss or struggle with their sight, um, we've tried to build up something that is good for them. When I walked in here this morning, I, I was given a sheet of paper that had the words in braille of the songs that were going to be used in the worship time. I'm completely dependent on that really. It makes such a difference that you can fully participate in the worship as, as well as everybody else. We provide accessible Christian resources and services encouraging blind and partially sighted people into Christian communities. Most importantly what we're doing at the moment is we really want to work with churches to help them to be fully inclusive of people with sight loss in their congregation. So you can't just be a sight loss friendly church once. It's a commitment that you make over and over again. It's a state of mind. It's having in your mind, how can I make sure that everybody in my church is included? How can I make sure that this person with sight loss is fully able to join in? We often hear of people with sight loss wanting to join in at coffee time and chat with others. However, without being able to catch someone's eye or know who is in the room, those who are blind and partially sighted are reliant on others to approach them. I would feel far more comfortable attending a sight loss friendly church, yeah, because it would make a, such a difference to people that are visually impaired and it would encourage them to come along and hear the word of God and meet other people and, and go in the Lord. I wouldn't have known to come to know the Lord Jesus if it hadn't been through torch. I'm sure the Lord would have found another way, but certainly for me, um, I use every aspect of their services and I'm very blessed. Sight loss or visual impairment should not be a barrier to attending church. Sometimes it is, but it shouldn't be. To find out how your church can become more sight loss friendly, get in touch. Call Torch Trust on 01858 438 260. Visit our website torchtrust.org or email info at torchtrust.org.